Hi, I'm Doug Simon from DS Simon Media with David Albritton from General Motors. We're here at Baruch College where we've been celebrating black PR history at the site of the Black PR Museum. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me today. Great, great presentation earlier. And David is Executive Director of Global Product Development Communications at General Motors. So two parts. First, when advising senior leaders to be better communicators, what are some of the tips that you offer? Well, I think the biggest one is to be authentic. Right? People have to believe what they're hearing out of your mouth. It's not only your employees, but it's your consumers. It's everybody that engages you, all your stakeholder groups. So being authentic uh, and being true to your brand, being true to your ethos, and just being true to the product and services that you're providing. So when you're putting together content for the leader, do you both have to take into account their own personality and style so it's a fit, and also the personality and style of the organization? Absolutely, the personality comes in you know, exclusively to that person, uh, but they have to be authentic to the organization too. So the cultural values of the organization have to come out through those you know, speaking remarks and those types of things as well. Um, but you know, it, it will change depending, you know, your style in, in terms of how you support these senior leaders will change based on who you're dealing with because you want to write in their voice. Um, I could write you know, for every senior executive at General Motors, but it wouldn't be authentic for each one of them if I hadn't spent the time with them to allow them to you know get their share of voice into whatever those remarks are going to be. That's awesome advice. Now you also spoke about the importance of mentorship and let's take maybe a little bit of a different angle. What's the responsibility of a mentor to be a good mentor to reach out and be accessible as you do so well? Well being accessible is the number one key but being uh, able to have a true um, conversation with that person, to, to listen to where they've been, where they want to go, and then sharing your perspective and your advice, uh, and being courageous in doing that, and, and, and offering them an opportunity to have that courageous conversation with you, um, so that you're both are very transparent, but and you can offer advice and counsel that's going to help them ultimately later in their career. And do you think that being an effective mentor is about a two-way learning conversation? Because you get to learn from the people more junior who've had different experiences and are just getting on their way in their careers. It has to be. Of course, you know, I'm an old fogey with gray in the beard and I've had a career. But I learn as much, you know, from the people that I mentor as I hope that they learn from me. Because, you know, they are experiencing different things at different parts of their career that maybe I have not experienced. And so I can carry that forward because I'm also a people leader as well. And if I can't relate to everybody on my staff as well as I could, you know, with somebody closer to my age, then that, I, that's a failing that I have as a leader. And so, you know, it's, it's incumbent upon me to learn as much from them as they do from me. We've got some matching grace, so we've been able to relate with each other very easily. Thanks so much for spending time with us. Thanks for having me. Take care.